Good morning, my friends. As you can see, I'm out here on my back porch. I Well, actually, you can't see that. You can just see the worms trying to escape here as they're all trying to get out of the this area. I don't know why. There's probably because I've been brutalizing the poor little things. And um, I just wanted to show this to you. Let me see if I can get it up at an angle better, just a little bit for you. How's that? That looks pretty good. And I'm trying to use my um, my tripod again. And uh, come on, guys, where are you all going? I've been fluffing them, so I think they're, they're trying to escape. But let me throw some gloves on, and I can show you this better. Um, this came from my uh, whoops. This came from my little uh, foot locker, my little shoe box uh, bin here. And uh, it was a, a few weeks ago I did it, and I put, um, uh, I ended up putting about 50 worms in here. And I, uh, w the, on this one, I, I have two of them, but on this one I put um, the peanuts, you know, these, this size peanut, so you can see what, how big it is. You know, it's probably, if you think about it, it's, it's like two digits of your, of your uh, finger, your index finger here, your whole thumb. Anyway, um, and and I wet them down, and when I wet them down, boy, they just went uh, to just about nothing, and um, uh, almost immediate. Well, let's say half size, almost immediately, and then uh, I think the, uh, about ten days ago, I came in and I showed you how small they were. And I promised I would come back and show you. And I, I have to be honest. I, whoops. I'm going to have trouble with this tripod, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you that this is the, about one of the few pieces that I can even find that they haven't disintegrated. And so here's the size difference. And you can see... What would you say maybe 1 20th of what it was you know so um it is a uh a, i think a corn i think they said a corn wheat base uh n not like the old styrofoam uh peanuts that, uh, of yesteryear but these are actually made of something that when it, it does get wet i mean it is a um it is an edible well I don't. I wouldn't feed it to anyone, but I. I don't think it's uh, like styrofoam that would really make you sick. Um, but obviously, I'm feeding it to the worms, and I just wanted to see if it would be something that, you know, instead of landing in the landfill, if it would uh, make it. Um, come here, baby. Be a star today. Yeah. See there, you can see. That looks like a wiggler. I don't think I'm going to put any more in with it. I think I'm going to go back to regular feedings on on this um, on these two bins. The one I did was. Um, was with the peanuts and then the other I did just a regular but I mean they still look healthy they still look like they're maneuvering a bit and um, trying to escape I think I'm going to go back to a regular feeding because I think maybe it's it's changing the pH balance that uh, they I've never had worms trying to escape like this But that that they are. Um, so anyway, that was that was really all I wanted to show you. Um, I gave them bedding, and they don't seem to have gone for the bedding. It got very dry in there, I think, because it's such an absorbent. You know, peanuts are such an absorbent product that it was just sucking in everything. So I've just sprayed them with my concentrate of, I'm sorry about that, of um, worm tea that I made 
and I uh, added water to it and I gave them a nice little, little spray down so possibly that's where they're deciding they're going to go for higher ground. So um, anyway, that was all I, all I really wanted to show you uh, this morning was that I'm going to uh, take these and take my little bin back again. Uh, real quick, I have shown you this, that uh, this is a nylon netting that I have on both sides. And then the top has this nylon netting on it also, so that the worms have plenty of air holes for this tiny little space. So we will try and get anybody that is trying to uh, try the escape route. Oh dear. Okay, we'll get you in a minute. All right, so we're just going to set this up. We're going to put our little worms back in here. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is May 2nd. I'm here in um, Windermere, Florida. Oh, there's another guy. Uh, I'm just glad to see that nobody died. Anyway, uh, Windermere, Florida, USA. Uh, it's supposed to be, I think, 80-something uh, degrees. I think yesterday got to about 85. And uh, when it's cool, of course, it's lovely. You don't have to put your air on. But when it gets to, when it gets to 80 or so, and the humidity is pretty, pretty high, uh, we have to turn our AC on. There's so much bedding in there. They've had all sorts of um, eggshells and, you know, all the different nutrients and grit and everything else. It's had food in it. Uh, I'm just going to leave that go. And uh, I have a, a little piece of corrugated cardboard on there. And I just put that on top. This is a great starter bin, you know, if you've got somebody who's, you know, kids in school, you want to want to have a little uh, science project with them, what a great thing to do. And, um, you know, it keeps it small enough. It's not overwhelming. Uh, if you had to take it out and count your worms, well, then, well, then you could. And it wouldn't be anything uh, fantastic major for them. I'm not sure what I've if I've done something wrong here, but they seem to be trying to escape from here, too. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cover this. Um, I'm going to uh, sign off and pat these little fellas and gals and uh, get my day started. And um, I hope you guys will subscribe and ring the bell if you like it. And come back and see me again soon because you know I will be here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.